I guess it, when all your cards do similar things, it doesn't matter too much. But it seems like you want to maximize your, you know, how many times you draw your your ringleaders. You know, obviously the best cards. Yeah, a little discussion over the life totals here, trying to figure out why the players don't agree. But uh, Billy Nichols is in a huge hole. Nick Montequia is here by the skin of his teeth, man. Oh, yeah. He has had some fortune come his way today, but uh, you don't play through, what is this, the 11th round of Not, action? Yeah, nine rounds and then the elimination uh, rounds. Getting some correct plays. Yeah, he drew uh, another lands, but it... It might be too late. That third line is too little, too late. Yeah. Well, let's not count Billy out. <coughs> maybe he's got, maybe he's cooking something up. He pulled out a rather tough matchup against Blue Black Reanimator in the quarterfinals. Just through the grace of some good draws and powerful sideboard hate. Yeah, it looks like he had a extirpate, three extirpate, and three torment script for, for the reanimation package. It's, it didn't it's help good. That, uh, that his opponent just failed to draw very well in the third yeah. game. Well, Atarmaguif is a pretty good defender. So not not only were we uh, only stuck on two lands, but we, we didn't have green. So sometimes Tarmogoyf can make up the difference. Yeah. They're gonna use a die to keep track of that. What do you think about that? Agree or disagree? We, we, we were talking about that earlier. Um, I disagree. I, I do not put counters on on Tarmogoyf. People take that die off. But my if yeah, my agree. You can put a, you can put a little die next to your library or something yeah that's if if and it's I you know it's wrong if it's uh you know a, a match with something on the line or whatever then then i i would sure wouldn't sure. allow it but if you're playing casual f and m at the senior center yeah yeah you you like grandma <laughs> run take backs but when it's cutthroat time yeah i totally agree War Chief into Matron here is. Uh, has he has he played his land yet either? So he can go Matron uh, into Pile yeah. Driver also. Yep. <laughs> makes days active, makes days live. Yeah, probably oh. just. What's the what's the life? Time ago, might not be long for this world if that uh, pile driver resolves. Well, uh, doesn't look like it. I think he could also he could also just get Sting Scourger here. That's true. It looks like, uh, yeah, Blue Elemental Blast. Yep, he did have it. Yeah, so that land was was pretty crucial. It was indeed pretty crucial. Nick trying to figure out if he's going to send in an attack. I don't think you attack here. Yeah, eight, just, eight is eight is a little too much to to start throwing guys away. Especially when you're only holding a Jim Paul in center. Yeah, and and the war chief is is too valuable to to give up. It, it allows you to chain you know any matrons or, or ringleaders that come off the top and yep. and really get an army a hasty army fast. Yep. It's Billy Nick. It's uh, Billy Nichols' time to shine here. He's getting a little bit of another land. I think I think that uh, that he has a tomb stalker in hand. Well, looks like another Tarmogoyf and then a tomb stalker. Wow. Billy Nichols is mounting a comeback yeah. here. Whoa, whoa! Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> it's been here for years. <laughs> 
for the three of you in the chat forum who understood that, feel free to laugh at home by yourself. <laughs> Well, he, he does. Maybe he doesn't have. A... Nah, I knew what you referenced. I knew what you referenced. He's on. He's on. He's on a TV show now. One yeah. of those cop shows. Looks like he, he didn't have a tombstalker. Uh, oh, another governor chief it. is. Uh... Christ, Moore knows it. How does Bill Stark get that reference? Because I was born when Reagan was president. <laughs> <laughs> and AJ feels young again. Mom said, like, yeah, what a great song. I read about that guy in history books. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy Nichols has managed to turn this game from bad into... It's looking pretty possible. favorable, yeah. Yeah, possible. Um, kind of reminiscent of the turnaround James Bush had in the finals last night. Yeah, in that third yeah. game, it looked like he was down and out against Ben Weinberg. And, man, Weinberg made one small misclick with his uh, Jace, Jace the sculptor, sculptor, and that was all she wrote. Yeah. Ooh, that is a big stifle right there. Yeah. And the card drawing portion, I'm assuming. Yeah, the, the judge, judge is reading it, make sure, making sure it's two separate triggers, which it is. Yeah, what are you going to do? So he'll still draw a card, but the Tarmogriff will live and will eat that a ringleader that it blocked. Ow. Oh, <laughs> we uh, wave goodbye. <laughs> Looks like he's got a board tusk leaves left in hand. I was wondering if he would board those in. It's interesting. They're powerful. It's yeah. Exciting to see. It's one of the things you gotta love about Legacy. Just every event, there's some crazy new card that you didn't think of in context yeah. of the format that's seeing play. Looks like uh, Tarmogoyf's getting a little aggressive now. Trying to close out the clock before uh, before goblins can get its its powerful ringleader matron chain going. Did he just overpay? Did he just pay full price for that leech? Yes, he did. Boy, it is late. In uh, the day. He, he did that uh, earlier as well. And luckily for. Luckily for people like him, he, he no longer has to take a point when, when he does such things. Well, thanks to Intent Rules, uh, Nick is not going to have to eat not, too many burn no, like that. Not going to have to. Well, he would only eat one. It's, it's one gruel, gruel, gruel. Oh, true. Yeah, you're right. Wasteland getting... The second black source was that? I didn't catch what he was targeting. Float a man off of it. Yeah, the second black source. To keep keep Tombstalker at bay. It's one of those rare times the M10 rules actually come up. In general, they've been pretty... Uh, Pretty consistently similar. In fact, it's uh, Zvi Machovitz's new book. I'm not sure if you've read it. My files. I part have not one. yet. The uh, it's just a history of you know his writing. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and in the opening few chapters, he and publishes his analyzation of uh, or analysis rather of um, the sixth edition rules changes, which were what we just changed. From. The world was on fire. People were so furious <laughs> about that. You look back at it now in context. It's it obviously so way funny. better for the game. <laughs> yeah, it just seems so funny how upset people were. Snuffing out. Uh, I was going to say that that Tarmogoyf attack was a little ambitious, as I like to say, but um, but holding the snuff out makes uh, makes that attack make a lot like, more sense. Uh, I like the thesaurus you've got out, looking up uh, synonyms for greedy. Yeah. Came yeah. up with ambitious. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's kind of my line of the uh, line of the week is, well, that's, a, that's a pretty ambitious attack, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bad Tarmogoyf takes out a, another quarter of Nicholas's life total. Billy Nichols gonna pull this off. 
both. I like the yellow magnets. I think Nick's capable of just cycling the card for value. Probably hold it till uh, no. Well, last time he was in this situation.